fresh water, the very essence of life on Earth. Beneath the surface of countless pools and lakes lies an unseen realm, thriving beyond the limits of human sight, yet sustaining all life above. Here, in the quiet depths, survival unfolds on a miniature scale, a constant struggle beneath the watchful gaze of silent predators. Hidden among them is a creature no larger than a grain of sand, delicate, almost invisible, yet vital to life here. The Daphnia. Paddling constantly to stay afloat? Daphnia are nature's tiny vacuum cleaners. With each flick of their feathery limbs, they draw in water. Filter feeding on microscopic algae and other minute organisms. At first glance, they seem fragile, but in reality, they are among nature's toughest survivors, equipped with an incredible suite of superpowers. One such survivor is a young, first-time mother. Her compound eye stays ever watchful to detect predators. Her legs and feathery limbs are in constant motion to stay afloat and keep foraging. With each heartbeat, she pumps hemolymph fluid, delivering the nourishment and oxygen needed to sustain herself and the eggs she carries. This is Duffy. In these food-rich waters, where temperatures reach 20 degrees, she wields her first superpower. Nestled within her brood chambers, she carries special eggs that will grow into tiny clones of herself without fertilization. In just two days, their bodies take shape with compound eyes and delicate antenna. As they start to wiggle, the moment arrives, ready to be born fully equipped to face life in these waters. And here comes the second superpower. Every single one born is a female. This allows them to multiply at an extraordinary rate, to far outnumber predators and thrive in the waters. But this time of abundance doesn't last long. As winter arrives, water temperatures plummet below five degrees. Unable to withstand the freezing cold, Daffy's time is ticking towards her end. But Daffy has one final superpower. Once more, she carries a young one. But this time, it's different. Instead of giving birth to a female, she gives birth to a male. His mission is brief, but vital, to find a female and ensure the next generation. The female now carries fertilized eggs, but rather than nurturing them inside her body, she encases them in a hardened protective pouch and releases them as she molts. At first glance, these tiny eggs may seem vulnerable, left adrift in the changing waters. But encased in their protective shells, they can endure freezing cold, survive droughts, and even pass through the gut of a fish, emerging completely unharmed, making them nearly indestructible. And so they wait. Weeks, months, 
perhaps even longer, until at last the seasons shift once more. Spring returns. And at the perfect moment, the eggs hatch. From them emerge two young daphne, both females. And just like that, Daffy's legacy continues. This enduring story, the life cycle of the smallest creatures, the ones who lie at the very foundation of the food chain, reveals a truth often overlooked. Their survival shapes the balance of life for all above them. And so we are left with one question. Is it truly nature that needs us? Or is it we who cannot survive without them?